Last month, I also said how Joe Biden was riding waves of confusion and unsure what to do, along with this fear and certainty doubt and people's heads kind of spinning. And I don't know about you, but I kind of felt like that. Like, it was just a little kind of chaotic. And I had to take a little break from uh, YouTube and everything as well. <clears throat> so um, this month, I'm seeing that continuing a little bit with Joe Biden, the, the confusion, but it's not so much that he's confused, it's more that he's kind of humbled now. Moving into January, replace the confusion with humbleness, because I see him taking orders from the military more so than him making the calls himself, and it's kind of like he's realized that he needs to kind of listen to other people. And so I see him taking a, a break from pushing his personal agenda, his personal plans, and him having to be a little flexible with that. And I saw him looking at other countries far away. Um, I saw this symbolized with him looking through binoculars. Of course, that's not literal. I did get that he uh, could potentially be sending troops to other countries, but in a very non-aggressive way. I don't see these troops going directly into places of conflict, but more so like setting up around and uh, being more so of an observer than an aggressor and just kind of like a slow stabilizing action, um, kind of like a, a slow chess game where people are just like getting their pieces in position before anything actually happens or in case anything happens. I don't see this being to spawn any sort of intense um, situation, at least for January. Um, again, Putting up to 8,500 U.S. troops on a heightened alert, mostly as part of a NATO response force. Military action by Russia could come at any time. The president from Camp David this weekend, reviewing Pentagon proposals to move thousands of U.S. troops to NATO countries around Ukraine, fly bombers over the region, and send ships to the Black Sea. NATO also putting more troops on standby and sending additional fighter jets and warships. What? put troops on standby, but like always, conditions apply. The West is not going to send soldiers into Ukraine. No intention of putting American forces or NATO forces in Ukraine, but uh, we are, you know, as I said, there are going to be serious economic consequences if he moves. Well, there you have it. They're not sending troops directly to Ukraine. They're not putting troops directly into battle, but they are setting up like a chess game.